Welcome everybody to the kitchen where I'm showing you the art of making uh, the best nachos. My buddy uh, from years ago, Kevin, uh, he showed me how to do nachos and ever since then I have always made nachos this way and they are just so delicious. Of course I'm going to put a few variations on them starting with chorizo. When you go to buy chorizo, I just get it at Smith's. If you go to where the fresh meat is, you can find chorizo there, but it's very expensive. What you do is you go to the coolers where the like salsas and things like that are sold, and you'll find tubes of chorizo at a fraction of the cost, and that's where I'm starting here. Chorizo is very fatty meat to start with, and so what I'll cook it up and then I'll put it into a strainer, which I have one in the sink ready to go, and I'll strain out those fats so that I don't have so much fat in there. So this is almost cooked through and I'll get that strained in a minute. I have some Velveeta style cheese. It's just American cheese here. This is just something that I think goes so well on these nachos and I'm just stirring it, melting it. This stove has a very low heat mode on it, which allows me to melt things like this. You can also do it in the microwave in a double boiler, or if you want to do it on your stove, just pay attention to it so you don't burn it. Now, also, I have the nachos already made, or the chips. These are just white tortillas that I've cut into pieces, fried them up, seasoned them, and they are ready to go, as well as some pulled pork that I cooked uh, this morning, actually, just a pork roast and shredded it. In here, I have my fresh salsa that I love my salsa recipe. It's on the Cooking with Chef Brian website. You can get them there. And now we're just going to make this up so we have fresh, fresh salsa. Have you guys noticed a trend on this? It's all freshly made foods, except for the cheese, of course, and the chodis, which I didn't make. But when you m make it fresh, guys, it's going to be that much more delicious. We'll finish it up when I come back. And pretty easy. Yeah. Mm, looks great. Thanks, Chef. We just missed the free Subway sandwiches today, yeah. too. That went from 10 to noon. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to have some nachos. Uh, yeah, I mean, by all means, Rob, <laughs> don't you know, go out of your way at all for some free nachos, free right? Nachos. <laughs> and a slurpee. All right, I'm just going to ignore Ron for now. So what I've done is, to finish these up, I pulled them out of the oven, and I, I spread some of the shredded pork on top of it and sprinkled it with yet more cheese, just so it kind of melts onto it. And then I'm going to pull these out, and holy smokes, these are going to be the best. This is just my version. Of course, there are a million different ways you can make nachos. But some of the key components to making a delicious nacho is putting them on a baking sheet, first of all. That way you can spread them out. There's more surface area, so more of the chips get the cheese and all the flavorings and things like that. Make your own chips. They're very easy to make, and they're very economical compared to, I was looking at the bags this morning of chips, and it was like mm, almost three, four dollars for a bag of chips, and then you can buy a whole thing of tortillas for $3, and that'd make five bags of chips. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to serve the salsa on the side. I'm also going to serve the guacamole on the side, and this is just my preference. The reason I like to serve them on the side is because when you spread like salsa and things like that over the chips, they get soggy because salsa has a lot of water in it because of the tomatoes. So by serving it on the side, you're going to have each dip right into there. Guacamole, I'll get a little smaller thing to put into there. These are just the smashed avocados. I put the salsa that I made fresh into there, mixed it all together, and it is ready to go. Seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. This amazing nacho recipe is on my website. You can head on over there to cookingwithchefbrian.com. You can also go over to qutb.com and grab the webs or the recipe. This is a fun idea for dinner, too. You can mm -hmm. have all kinds of fun with yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's a meal in so itself. Sorry, Rock. Free nachos, not subways, just not for Slurpees, <laughs> not anything <Yeah. laughs> like that. Nachos. But don't worry, you don't have to come back. Ron. That's all good. Hey, not your problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's not your problem.